Hi guys, Mike back again with um, just an update video of what I've been up to and um, and that's that really. So yesterday we had the Millennium Falcon update um, and uh, so that was the little update there. I've got an HMS Victory update coming relatively soon. Um, I'm, I'm still, I'm waiting for the weather actually to kick in and um, so I can sand up the hull and install the real keel. So I'm, it's been raining for about two weeks where I live, so I haven't been able to do it. Um, but as you all know, uh, I went to Salute last week and my primary goal for going to Salute was to buy um, a case basically to transport my miniatures because those of you that um, have seen my previous videos will know that I am wanting to um, start playing 40K basically. And I want to um, have some battles and clearly going to Warhammer Mania in June and want to take an army with me, but I've got no way to transport them. I have got, um, well, as you can see, I've got boxes and boxes um, coming out of my ears, um, but no real safe way to transport my minis um, without them getting broken. So that, that was my primary goal going to salute. Um, I mean, I wanted to go anyway, but my, my main purchase was to buy a case. So what did I get? So this is the video to sort of show you what I got. Um, those of you that went to Salute will know that they had this golden ticket um, event going on that you got your goodie bag as you walked in and you had a, well, I'm not sure everyone did, but but you had a, an envelope in your goodie bag and um, um, it would say if you won something, and I, th I think the sort of top five was 250 quid in cash and I think they had 100 quid in cash or 150 quid in cash and then a couple of 50 quids. Um, but then uh, that's what that's, that's what I thought the golden ticket was. But in my lucky in my goodie bag, um, I had an envelope. Let me just check two seconds to see if I can. F I think I kept the envelope. Uh, yes, I did. So in my goodie bag, I had this envelope, golden ticket for a free KR backpack too. Um, and inside was a golden ticket, and I won this backpack or won this backpack, and and that was it. So I went to the KR stand, and. Um, Claimed my backpack. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, it's, it's about 50 quid's worth. Um, I think it's 46 quid on the website. Um, so, I mean, fair play. I mean, that's spot on. But not what I wanted. It's always the way, isn't it? You don't want, you don't get what you want, unfortunately. And uh, that probably seems really ungrateful. And um, um, yeah, that's probably not good, is it? But yeah, I, I wasn't after a backpack type um, bag but what I have done um, so I mean yeah I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use this and I might just use it for backpack purposes potentially but in but basically this bag will hold two of the KR regular sized boxes and just as a little aside we've got two of the KR boxes so I bought those but I bought those for something else which will be in an upcoming video. So I'm storing something in those two boxes, but not necessarily transporting them. And um, this backpack will hold those two boxes. So that's really cool. So I'm very, very grateful, but probably won't be using it. Um, I had um, in my mind that I wanted some battle foam. I really like the battle foam stuff and um, had my kind of heart set on it really. I knew what I wanted before I went. Pack 720. Um, those of you that aren't familiar with Battle Foam, um, it's, it's, um, it's quite expensive in fairness, but I got a show deal. <laughs> got a show deal and a little bit of haggling and a little bit of uh, wheeling and dealing at the show and ended up saving, I think I saved about 45 quid on this bag, which I was really, really happy with. Um, I mean, I looked at getting it online initially, um, but the postage is ridiculous. Um, and obviously you don't get a show discount if you buy online. So I went and bought online. So this is the pack 720. Um, 720 stands for that it will hold 720 28 millimeter miniatures if you've got the right configuration of foam. So that's what it will hold. Um, I bought it with a standard loadout. You can buy it empty. You can buy it with a pluck foam loadout which will just be trays of pluck foam, a custom loadout. So you can choose what trays you want to put in here or the standard loadout, which is a generic lo loadout, excuse me, for Space Marines. Um, so that was that. So, so this is the Pax M20. So what we've got, we've got a little, little uh, Velcro thing in here for whatever. We've got another Velcro tab here 
for rule books or whatever, paperwork, things like that. Um, then on the outsides, they've got this, this military molly system, which uh, you can make additions, you can put things on the exterior of the bag. So basically I had these things pretty much for nothing um, with the discounts I had on the bag. So I bought this one, this kind of little pouch. Oh, God, that's, some, that's some Velcro on there. So a little pouch there just for whatever. Again, templates, things like that, who knows. And then on this side, got what they call the grenade pouch, just for dice and again, just bits and bobs. But again, they were effectively free with the discount I got. So this is the, the bag itself. So it opens top ways. Just move the camera. It opens top ways and you can, um continue zipping it out. I think it holds 12, 12 inches of foam, 12 and a half inches of foam. So let's move that. So you get your top tray, top, just um, top protector tray. Oh, there's also, just incidentally, there's a, there's a sleeve in there as well that you can put stuff in. So there's a protector foam tray. And we've got one tray just for standard troops. So this is part of the standard loadout. And then this next tray, so we've got some bigger miniatures in there. Again, part of the standard loadout. Terminators and assault troops in these ones. They're sort of taller and deeper. That one. And we've got a bigger tray here. Um, I think you can get bikes in here if you wanted to. But again, just sort of bigger models, character models, things with banners, stuff like that. Um, and then, under normal circumstances, you would get a four inch pluck foam tray as part of the standard loadout but because I was at the show and because we had a deal I decided to swap that out again for nothing for free um, or included in the price effectively um, I got a space marine vehicle tray so it will take a land raider of any configuration um, it'll take a whirlwind or something with a dozer blade a couple of rhinos predator two dreadnoughts and in fairness, it will take the contemptors. The contemptors fit in these slots if you've posed them in a way that allows for that shape to fit. So, so that that's that. I mean, the bag itself is is got this sort of solid um, interior. Um, it's pretty pretty solid. Um, and again, I'm not going to be. I mean, this bag's just going to go in my car, and I'm going to travel with it. But I'm really quite pleased with that. Um, I'm going to think all in. I think with the online with with a custom because this this would be classed as a custom loadout because I changed this tray. I think it was looking at about 150 quid plus the bits on the side. Um, I think that that grenade pouch is a tenner, and this is like 15 quid or something. So um, so we're looking at what 175, um, and I ended up having it for about 100, just 125 effectively. So. Um, I was chuffed with that. Um, so yeah, it zips up nicely. I mean, it's fantastic quality. I mean, I really, really like it. Um, so that's that's my case now. So I've got um, got uh, the means now to transport my army about the place and to Warhammer Mania. This will be coming with me, filled with Blood Angel goodness. And uh, so that's it. So that was one of my, um, that was my main, well, that was my main purchase from Salute, which is what I went for. Although I bought it quite early on in the day and it was a pain in the ass to carry around. It's, it's basically a box, isn't it? It's a huge box. And uh, yeah, I should have probably bought it later on in the day, but um, yeah, that was a real pain to carry around all day. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it. So that's my Battle Phone Pack 720. Really happy with it. Um, I'm going to show you on the next video probably what I'm using those KR boxes for. So that's it for me for now, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.